Today is March 14, 2018, Wednesday. This is a female one-year-old fancy mouse which came in two days ago with a complaint of lump on the right thigh. The owner contacted Dr. Sing Kong Yen through email six days ago and he advised her to come to the clinic as soon as possible to do, do, to do the lump removal so that it won't cause any infection. Okay, we look at the at the image sent by the owner and uh, the owner sent an image for for the vet to see it and to quote the cause. You can see the image here. It looks like a big tumor. And uh, can't see clearly because of the sunlight. There's some problems here. Uh, so let me see and see clearly. Uh. As you can see, she, she sent by email the image and uh, okay you cannot see clearly due to the angle good right angles yeah the reflection due to the reflection okay so now we look at the mouse we continue the, the mouse was is here for how long already yes how many was it operated Two days ago, the mouse came in and then we did the operation yesterday mm, Okay Which lasts for 15 days uh, 15 minutes sorry. 15 minutes, uh, using Zolotil and isofluorine gas, right? Yes Okay So now what we do is uh, we will look at the, the surgery slides But uh, before that, I, I will say that uh, We will go inside and do uh, We will put the mouse in we we'll put the mouse in and uh, my advice to owner is not to delay surgery we're just going to, not to delay surgery and uh, let the tumor be so large such that uh, we cannot uh, take a longer time to operate okay so now my system will show the slide again the photo again there here here on the uh, early on which we couldn't see the no early on we couldn't see the the mouse the sent by the owner uh, here is easier and there you see here as you can see inside the no no the right angles to the lens you can see it's very clearly that uh, this image sent by the owner shows a very large tumor about two thirds the length of the body involving the right hind leg and uh, the, the owner first vet says that the, the leg might be, have to be amputated and judging by the looks it looks like the tumor has gone into the leg bones or muscles so i told the the lady owner that we have to see it and uh, if, if necessary we have to amputate the leg but then uh, just from this picture it's hard to hard to tell yes. so okay let's look at the mouse again after surgery and as you can see this is put there we do so surgery was done yesterday and this is 24 hours after surgery you see the right side has been stitched how many stitches five five i think it's a, it's a 15 minute surgery of Anesthesia as well, and the suture use, um, what's the size? One is in four. Four, is it? Yeah. So normally these sutures can dissolve by itself, so we, the owner doesn't come back again. But the rats might, the, the mouse may bite them off or so. So we, we do give painkillers, and if, if, if it's not bitten off, then uh, 10 days the wound will heal nicely and this one-year-old mouse will live normal life a normal life 
has considered to the past where he was dragging the tumor along. Now I will I will do the the another separate video to show the tumor because YouTube may censor censor the whole video if uh, I show all together in one. So the my advice to all the owners especially hamsters and and mouse and rats pet rats is that the tumors when they're small don't don't uh, ignore them because they will continue to grow and they are so irritating to the to the pet as you can see sometimes they bite it now once the the, the pet bites the tumor because it's irritating or dragging or, or traumatized by dragging around but bacteria comes in and it becomes very dirty and smelly by that time it's very difficult to have a clean wound to operate as you can see in this mouth the wound is clean this is day two and uh, you can see the wound is healing very well there is no uh, swelling or redness on the wound area and uh, I expect this mouse to, to recover very well. Now, chances of recovery from surgery depends on the age of the mouse, the health, and whether the tumor is large in size or not, or infected. If everything is ideal, then uh, the surgery is successful, as you can see in this case. That's because the mouse is still healthy, the tumor was not infected, although according to the, from what we see, it's actually inflamed. And uh, so get your, your pet mouse or rat or hamster operated when the tumor is small <coughs> because uh, it's safer for the pet. And also find a vet who does surgery and don't delay. Now, giving oral medication, <coughs> antibodies and painkillers will not <coughs> make the tumor disappear. And that's what some vets prescribe. Some vets may advise let, let the tumor grow until it's time to put the pet, mouse, rat or hamster down because they, they are not uh, able to, to operate. As anesthesia has to be very careful. And here we use a little 100 plus isofluorine. Even then, the surgery takes 15 minutes. Anytime the mouse can die under anesthesia. And so, the more we do, the better we become. It's all practice makes perfect. So now I will stop the video. This is mouse is going home. Today is how many hours already? After 18 hours of the surgery and uh, there's no more big tumor there so show show the tumor again the the, the, the the image from the from the owner now this now this young young owners normally don't uh, don't uh, see the vet sometimes or she saw the vet but mine is a second opinion so she wanted the just to send a photo over there, a picture. You can see this is really a gigantic tumor. I'm surprised that uh, the red blue does uh, survive. Okay, just show the. We will show one one part of the image after sur surgery. We don't show the the bloody mess. I don't know whether it is or not. I think that better not. It looks terrible. So okay, so. I will stop the video and anyway you can see post op there is no more lump there. This one we don't really need the picture there. Okay.